What is up, Croc Nation? Welcome back to Crocstar ASMR this evening in the arcade. Um, I'd wanted to do and had everything all prepped and ready to go for uh, our Spiggy Stories 14. Oh man, I'm so excited for that. Unfortunately, I do not have my green screen anymore as my fiance tossed it out last weekend uh, when she was taking things to Goodwill. She didn't realize that I use it for my stream and I just thought it was an extra green sheet lying around with everything else, so that's unfortunate. Um, I'm on the verge of doing five straight night shifts, so I wanted that spiggy stories to be what tides everybody over for those shifts, because um, that's like five days. I don't have anything coming out and I didn't have anything pre-made, so I figured I'd give you guys a little bit of a treat. My Whispered Gameplay uh, viewers out there, I have a two matches back-to-back, -back, which is going to be over an hour of the finals for my finals fans out there. Two wins back to back and two completely different playstyle wins for myself personally. Um, unlike the other Whispered gameplays I've done of the finals, this one I'm going to be a little more tutorialistic, if you will. So, yeah, we'll get into this right now. Again, guys, if you're new to the channel, my Whispered video game fans out there, uh, make sure to smash that subscribe button and, uh, Give the video a like so other players can uh, find it. Uh, this was a very hit or miss uh, game in my channel. The very first one I put out when I was a rookie, and my very first tournament I played, really popped off and uh, is still popping off right now. The second inaudible whispered one I did, uh, not so much. So I figured I'd put another just a regular whispered one out and uh, try to help out maybe newer players along with this commentary. So I think that's what we're going to try to do here, guys. So this was taken earlier tonight, um, or actually this afternoon. I only had time to play maybe three tournaments, and I won two of them, which is really, really good. I've actually won back-to-back -to -back tournaments, or multiple tournaments, two nights in a row now. Uh, right here, I know I'm getting chased by someone with knives, and unfortunately he gets me, but... I will say this, that this is me playing with my teammate, uh, Owen, a kid I've been playing games with now for about a year since I've been playing Valorant. Uh, he's a good kid from North Battleford, Saskatchewan, which is really, really close to my hometown, so I have that in common with him. He's a really, really good player, a really good uh, killer. And uh, I always say in this game, you need at least one of those on your team. And uh, above all else, your team needs to have a sense of game sense. And uh, me and Owen definitely do in this first game. Our teammate here uh, was struggling quite a bit. And uh, his decisions he made were suspect, as you guys will see, as this, uh, this video uh, carries on. He actually isn't a streamer, it's just a, it's just a trolley name, he's not a Twitch streamer, I checked. But yeah, we're running a light class here, guys. Um, I'm running the turret for this one. When you're playing the finals with a teammate and you have comms, it's very important that at least one of you, if not both of you, run uh, recon. So you always have to jump on players, I get two back-to-back -back here. The gas really fucked them up. Uh, but it's really good as well if one of you runs turret, because turret uh, is a really, really awesome defensive uh, tool to help hold sights. And I believe I'm running explosive grenades here, if not gas grenades, I cannot recall. I think I'm running gas. Uh, and a gas grenade, I'm not running jump pads, and I'm not running zip lines, as uh, I find them very situational. 
initially to get my wean myself off of them. I couldn't imagine being without one or the other because of the mobility. But you do get used to it after a while. Uh, it becomes like second nature. You don't really need to rely on it because there are multiple ways to get on top of buildings and air zip lines and massive uh, community jump pads, I guess. I'm not sure what else they're called. Hey, these are gas mines. My gas mine skins are skulls, so I'm running gas mines here. I usually like to run gas mines in the finals because uh, gas mines are really good for holding down sites. You put it on either side of the vault and they either have to shoot it, which blows the gas up, or they likely hit it when they're trying to steal it and the gas ignites as well. So um, that's a really good tip for holding down sites. Another thing that's uh, I don't like about running these low settings, sorry this is off topic, is once in a while my gun skin doesn't render in as you can see. Uh, this game is so, 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 so hard on PCs that it's um, in order to maximize your frames you really gotta tweak your settings and my textures are only at a medium right now which means once in a while my gun texture or my gun skins uh, don't render in properly. It'll pop in and out, uh, depending on where I am in the map and the shades. But, um, as I was saying, the, the gas grenades as well uh, are really great for holding down sites and clearing out rooms where people are holding down sites of their own. So this particular setup has seen me go from um, See me go from gold four all the way up to gold one as of tonight. Uh, I think I'm 500 fame away from platinum. So this setup is I really believe in it, and uh, yeah, it's a really really working wonders for me. Obviously, you want to run your defibs as a medium. That should be uh, something you should be running. I used to go without, but when you need those revives, those quick revives, you need to clutch it. Um, you can't beat it, and it actually becomes a hindrance if you don't have it, so you don't want to do that. Right now, I can audibly hear a team around me, and uh, I'm afraid if I jump out this window, which would have happened, I'm going to get blown up from a team, so I'm trying to get my friend to tell me where I'm, what I'm hearing exactly, and he tells me the orange team is right to the right of me. He can see them with recon, and they obviously had recon as well. They see me standing there. They attempted to blow me out of the attic, literally. So yes, uh, this is your number one biggest tip in any YouTube, um, any YouTube tip advice you get from Diamond players, Platinum players. They all say the same thing, and it's one of their biggest tips is uh, communications. Try to play with a duo at least, so you guys have communications. Because if you don't have communications in this game, you're you're not going to be successful ever. It's just it's not going to happen. I couldn't believe this guy stuck this. I knew he was going to die afterwards, but... Um, again, look at all that gas. Gas is your best friend here for holding down a site. Gas is your best friend because aside from a heavy with a flamethrower, not a lot of people carry Molotov or incendiary grenades and uh, burn off the gas. So, gas is really your friend. Right here, my friend Owen and myself, no, we do not, we're sitting in first place with 15-9. I told him to back off because I do not want to get a team wipe. You get a team wipe, you lose 30% of your money. We would have been bumped down to 9,000. And uh, likely bumped out with the next cash out. So, you know, those little things, those little decisions you make really make this game game sense wise. Yeah, look at my gun, it's rendered and now the textures. So, like I always say, um, you need to have somewhat game sense as well. That's a huge part of this game. And game awareness, killing, killing, and uh, you know, your KDA really doesn't mean anything because you don't get rewarded for it with a loss. It's all about wins. And um, I would rather play with a team that's got low kills if they know what they're playing or they know how to play than uh, a team that's popping off with crazy, insane, kill death ratio scores that never gets the objectives and doesn't win the rounds it means nothing 
Oh, the only thing that's money in here is wins, so... As well, with this particular setup, if you're questioning why I'm not running the F-Car, uh, I like to run the F-Car with Recon, because you can aim down sights uh, around walls and whatnot as you see them coming towards you. And the F-Car's only got 20 rounds, so it's one of those things where uh, you want to make sure every shot counts. So with the Recon, you make sure you're not going to miss any of those 20 rounds. Where is the AK? You know, it has the additional ammunition. And uh, it's more accurate hip fire, I find. While you're playing with a turret, you're going to be on site, so you're going to you're going to be right in the shit, so to speak. So an F car really doesn't do you any favors. It's the uh, AKM that will ultimately win you those fights close range. Uh, the shotgun right now is just not it's not in meta. Uh, I think it got a nerf a couple uh, a couple patches back. I used to enjoy it, but. Um, yeah, don't run a shotgun. Run an AKM if you want to run something close. So right now we're sitting in third. We're about to get bumped out. We know we need to get this pink, uh, this pink vault. So we're heavily trying to attack D. One thing I said, uh, I think I mentioned one of the other games I played uh, for my not review, but things I would like to fix in a finals, um, is the the red and pink team colors. I really think one of them should be purple. Uh, in the middle of a fight, it's really hard to tell what's red and what's pink. So a lot of times, you know, you'll be like, okay, pink is white, and you'll realize it's red. You have the wrong colors, and, uh, you know, it could be costly. So right now, I'm just making sure, even though I don't think it's possible, because it takes five seconds to steal or vault that no one touches that vault. So there we go, with that we qualified. We actually finished on top of our leaderboard. And we are off to the next round. Guys, these are two full games. So I'm gonna skip the middle of these intermissions and just get to the next rounds at the end of every round to kind of not drag on this video, so to speak. So with that being said, let's get into the next round and knock on round number two. So this version is suspended structures. Here's another tip for you guys out there, my would-be finalists. Make sure that you have either jump pads or zip lines for these suspended structures on Monaco. Uh, you're going to want to have the ability to get up top if and when somebody has a vault up there and uh, they're holding it down. Because unless you have a rocket launcher or an RPG, you're not going to be able to blow that suspended structure down and you're not going to be able to get up there because people are going to destroy the wires and the zip lines. So that's why I removed my mines for this game, and I I equipped my jump pad because uh, otherwise, you know, you'll be stuck twiddling your thumbs at the bottom while a team is cashing out a vault up in a suspended structure. So I told you guys that these are two separate, completely separate style games. I'm really, really having to carry here with Owen. Uh, we're both having to put in a little extra work because our teammate, uh, our teammate is dying quite a bit, and he's not really helping much with the team, his support score and his objective scores are low. This is something that's common in this game. This game doesn't have a MMR yet, uh, proper matchmaking. So you could get put with somebody that's brand new, that's just starting their, their ranked. Throw gas behind guys with shields, by the way, guys. Gas goes through walls, through shields, everything. You might get stuck with somebody that just got their ranks. He's burning off my gas. That, that right there is the only thing that's going to burn gas away. And uh, not a lot of people run that. Uh, but they have, there's no MMR. So someone that just got their ranked and lock could be on my team. That doesn't understand the intricacies of the game yet. And or just doesn't have game sense. There's a lot of reasons for that. You know, some people just don't have it uh, never in life. Some people maybe just aren't gamers or, you know, they're just, they just don't have that kind of critical thinking skills. So there's that as well. You know, you might have a little... This is a free-to-play game, which also brings along the possibility that uh, you very well might have a little kid on your team, which is possible because it's a free game. They don't have to pay for it. They just load it up, and they can jump right in. So there's always that possibility as well. Lay these uh, jump pads, especially up here, because what will happen is someone will try to rush up the stairs. They'll hit it, and they'll fly off of your platform. So I'm trying to tell our teammate he should probably go sit on that structure. And I'm playing Owen, oh, he should probably get into one higher. 
higher than us so that um, people won't be able to shoot down on us. He's taking a look around with his recon. He hasn't seen anything yet. So uh, if you're wondering why, you know, we're just standing here, it's because no one's coming just yet. Uh, I got a turret, which is really great. Uh, which is really great for putting over top of structures like this from the high ground, as you guys will see right away. Uh, my friend Donovan Apo actually is a huge YouTuber, or uh, Twitch streamer, but with YouTube content in here, he's a top, uh, top 300 player. Uh, he puts out lots of tutorials and uh, lots of tips and tricks, and I've known him, Donovan, since our hunt showdown days, so he pops by my stream regularly. And he dropped some tips and advice and things maybe I didn't know about. He actually was an unbeliever of the turret until he was in my stream watching me watch, watching me, you know, uh, show him the work my turret was putting in. It does put in a lot of work, man. It does, damage wise, it's not the greatest, but it takes people's guns off of you. And while they're shooting at it, you can shoot at them, which for me is. You know, a huge, a huge plus. Again, we wiped that team, the orange team. You can see the countdown going on, so. And oh, my partner's looking around the recon. No one's here, so I'm figuring I'm going to pose for, pose for the crowd for a bit. And uh, we pretty much have this in the bag. I was unaware how close we were, that's why I set my turret up. And uh, they're already heading off to the next uh, vault. So yeah, the, there's no MMR. Um, I would say if you're solo queuing, uh, I don't know what it is lately. I've been actually finding more and more teammates with microphones, which is absolutely something that just does not happen in this game. It's been so frustrating. But if you're worried about, you know, having teammates with no microphones, um, maybe run the turret. Because the recon in itself, if you're using it without communication, is probably the most selfish uh, utility in a game or ability in a game, because only you can see uh, the recon. No one else can see it. So if you're on a team of mutes or people that just are not uh, talking, they can't hear your callouts when you're trying to tell them where people are. And vice versa, if it's someone that's talking, I'm getting chased here. If it's someone that's using it on your team, he actually gets launched in the air right there. He was chasing him and he got launched in the air. Um, oh, I'm trying to get away because I can hear him. Yeah, he's still shooting at me. He's got. He's using a recon and chasing me down. I really wish I had uh, explosive grenades here or explosive mines. If you're getting chased like this from somebody uh, and they're following right, right in your heels, if you jump through a window and throw explosive grenades at the bottom of the window, as they're jumping through, uh, they'll explode. But the recon in itself is, like if you, if someone's running it that's not talking, only he's seeing everything and he's not pinging. It's so useless, man. Like, try to talk to people in the lobbies and see if they have mics or see if they'll say hello back. And if they do, you know at the very least they can hear you, then run a recon. Because you can always let them know where people are coming from, how many people are where. Information, information, information. Uh, that'll win you rounds. So right now we're looking to get our second uh, cash out. In the finals, normally if you get two cash outs, you get up to thirty thousand. You're usually you're usually uh, set up to win, uh, or at least finish in the top two. You're almost guaranteed unless you get team wiped. Uh, so it's it's always very important to be aware of your money situation and whether or not you should take dumb fights or not. Our teammate here at twitch.tv unspoken words. Not a Twitch streamer, by the way, just a trolly name. He's got zero tokens left. He's died so much. He literally is just pushing for the sake of pushing, and he's dying. At one point, we agreed that we, we should not uh, risk getting ourselves killed over him unless there's a team wipe. Because, again, getting wiped uh, costs a lot of money, especially with us now. We're going to be sitting on $31,000. Uh, getting wiped would put us down to 22,000, so you do not want to get wiped when you're sitting on top of 30,000. You can actually just hang out and ride the round out for the most part. 
is the highest uh, the highest vault you can possibly get at the very last cash out is 22,000 so not a lot of people if you got 30,000 can catch up to you at the very at the very least you'll get bumped a second and you'll still advance so as long as you don't get wiped uh, my friend Owen is just really going crazy here with the kills As good as he's playing, it's nowhere near as crazy as the teammate we get in our second tournament. As you guys will slowly see. So now we got an active event deathmatch. It's double the amount of money. I think it's 400 instead of 200 uh, dollars for a kill. Again, there's events in uh, there's events in the finals that they throw out there. Uh, to kind of mix things up. I'm getting chased here. Again, jump pad the stairs in case he's chasing me. I'll launch and hit the stairs instead. Um, this is deathmatch. There's alien invasion where the UFOs will fly around the map and um, destroy things and randomly shoot at objectives. There's the dead go boom where when you kill a player they explode afterwards, which usually results in you dying as well. There's this one, Deathmatch. Um, there's Low Gravity, which is the one everyone hates the most. Uh, or if you hit that one, you, uh, you hit a jump pad. When you when that's going on, you're pretty much guaranteed to die. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm just trying to tap this vault to get us an extra $1,000. Uh, I don't actually want to start an objective because an overtime will trigger. I just want this time to play out. Actually, was this an overtime already? I can't recall. I just want this to play out, so. Yeah, and we advanced. Easily and nicely, I might add. That was a, that was a pretty easy, pretty easy round, if I'm being honest. My buddy Owen went 11 and 6. I went 4 and 0. Oh. And our friend, we're laughing, went zero eliminations, zero assists, four deaths, and 400 objectives, 97 for a support score, and 516 for a combat score, so he literally was dead weight. And uh, we're, gonna, we're having to put in a little extra work here, but we're getting it done, so with that, let's move on to the final four. So at the final four, uh, we are back to just clear sunny day. So I'm going to remove the jump pads, and I'm going to put my grenades, or my mines, back on. And, um, I believe I'm running explosive mines for this game. I, s I do like to switch it up, uh, occasionally. And, uh, yeah, explosive mines are more of an offensive uh, weapon. Especially when you're running a medium and you don't have a grenade launcher or something along those lines. You have no means to break floors or break walls. Well, most mines will will uh, break most walls in a building, especially if you double it up. So, a little difference I've done in my channel, as you guys can see, is my overlay. I can't tell you how many people come into my stream and they absolutely love this overlay. I love, 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 love decorating my overlays uh, for new game titles. Um, you can see the bottom left, I got this actual animated overlay of my health bar and my inventory bar on Etsy. It looks really, really clean. And uh, the bottom left is my health bar. Uh, my name's hidden, so I put my own name there, Croc. And I put a little nurse anime girl there, so you know that this is my health bar. On the right side is my loadout, with the words loadout there. And I have a anime girl with a gun on her shoulder, looks really clean. I believe the girl that's next to my webcam, it was the closest anime character I could find that had like a, like a finals outfit on. Uh, eventually when, you know, this game's out a little longer, there will be, you know, anime cartoon characters. People are going to draw especially on DeviantArt, and uh, I can add those on, but for now, this is all I could find. I'm pretty sure that's a video game character. If she is, and you guys are aware, let me know down below who she is, because I have no idea. Um, but yeah, this looks really clean. People always come in and tell me uh, 
how they like my overlay, and they like my studio as well. I added that new Edmonton Oilers poster in a bag, and I actually added new studio lights uh, for the posters. If you're wondering why they look a little brighter than they normally do. So here we are, business as usual. Uh, my turret just took a shot at somebody, and my mine just killed one. Because I'm running explosive mines, it's possible to kill people now that way. And I got a nice uh, melee kill on Dwight from the office. Um, a little tip for you guys. Uh, I didn't discuss it when I was doing it uh, about a minute back, but when you are placing your mines on a site, explosive mines that is, um, when you're holding down a site, put them at the bottom, at bottom where people can't see as they're coming in. Uh, at the entranceway, archways of doors and whatnot, I killed Dwight again, and the voices, my turret killed the voices. Cam sick killed me. But people will run in and not see it at their ankles, and they'll die. That's what happened uh, as when this team initially pushed. Your gas grenade, or mines, obviously you want to put them near the vault, because you want them to ignite as people are trying to steal it. Don't put them on top. There, I got somebody else with a, with a mine. Do not put them on top of the vault, it's useless. Uh, they can just stand back and steal it anyway without getting any damage. Uh, so right now, my team is both getting fucked up up there. And I'm just trying to uh, wait out the storm, so to speak, so I can revive one of them. I know that I don't know if this guy even has a token left. Uh, our teammate, unspoken words. He's died so much. When you die in rank mode, you lose a token. It's almost like a coin you gotta use to play, like in an arcade. And uh, if you're running turret, by the way, you're getting chased, lay it down behind you. And at the very least, you'll know. Uh, you'll know if someone's chasing you because the turret will go off. You won't get the kill, but you'll know. Same thing with people's uh, bodies. You lay a uh, turret facing towards it, which you guys will see me. I do a few times, especially in the second game we play, or the second tournament. Uh, you'll get a cue, and you'll know and be able to communicate to your team. Uh, they're reviving that player. So yeah, we're just, you know, trying to get the second... Uh, I don't know if I get this guy with the gas. He's stuck in a corner, but I think he gets away. Yeah, he got away with one sliver of health. Again, we're more so concentrating on the objectives. Uh, more than anything, when you're playing this game and you're playing to win, that's the number one thing you should be worried about is the objective. Don't worry about kills or the fights that are happening. It's so frustrating when you get into teams where they're spending half the match fighting another team and both teams Neither one of them is going for objectives. They're just both fighting one another. Uh, see right there? The gas went off when he went to touch it. And uh, that's what it does. That's why you want to lay gas mines at the at the vault. Again, don't lay it on it because you can grab the vault uh, from farther away there. Another gas grenade went off as I grabbed them. Um, I told Owen to grab them because they're wiped and I want to steal this vault before they get back. There's, they're going to be back in 10 seconds. You could stand back and grab the vault. That's what I'm trying to say, without igniting that mine if it's just on the vault itself. So you want to kind of create a perimeter around, uh, like what I'm doing with these explosives. I'm just throwing them on there because we don't have much time to uh, to steal this. We got maybe 30 seconds. So I know for a fact that team's going to rush in there, and uh, they might get sloppy. And uh, right there, my turret's shooting at one of them. They might get sloppy and... Uh, and run right up to the vault and get blown up. My turret's really putting work and it's still getting more damage on them. As well, I threw a grenade, uh, gas grenade on there to keep them further off of it. I got my paddles out because I thought for sure this teammate of ours was going to die again. I honestly don't know how I'm not dead right now. And my, my turret got me the assist there. So, yeah, believe in the turret, guys. It's the best, the absolute best defensive item in the game, bar none. Uh, if you get a teammate running recon, don't be afraid to uh, run turret. Uh, they complement each other really, really well. 
especially in the finals. You get to the finals and your teammate knows uh, exactly where exactly where uh, they're coming from. And my turret got me the assist. Got me another assist and then my gas killed Owen. So he's kind of giving me crap right now. I killed him with my gas. <laughs> but um, yeah, they tell you where they're coming in from the north. Uh, what not. You know uh, to set your turret up as such. What I just did right there is I laid a couple mines on the guy's peg in case they come to try to pick him up. What's going to happen is it's going to slow it down at the very least. They're going to have to shoot those mines. But best case scenario, and it happens more times than it doesn't, they rush in to try to paddle the guy, and they get blown up, and or the guy gets revived and he blows up immediately. So right now we have a minute left. We're ahead again by 33,000, so we're basically, unless we get wiped, we're guaranteed to go to the finals at this point. Um, we're just keeping this one team suppressed. Owen can see them with his recon, and we're just bullying this team. I believe it's the red team, the team we're going to eventually face in the finals. I should say, you know, now that we're talking about this, uh, this game does have a problem with hackers, especially I'm finding it this higher elo. Um, the final four is usually, if you're lucky enough, if there's a hacker in your group, you'll find them right away. But the final four is when you know if there's been a hacker in your tournament the whole time. Because uh, if they were in the other column, opposite of you, you never would have known until the final of four. So, you know, if you're going to get a hacker, get him in the very first round so you know you can just get that over with and start a, start a fresh tournament because you're not going to win that game. Um, I actually ran into a hacker in a final of four two days ago, and unfortunately we made it to the finals with them which I thought was an incredible waste of time, even though, you know, you get 300 fame instead of 600 fame. It's kind of a consolation prize, but I knew we weren't going to win. And uh, I'm a super, super competitive guy. Uh, in everything in life, if I can't win, I won't play. That's just how I am. So something like that really, really irritates me. But unfortunately, we do have a hacker problem in the finals. And it's because this is a free-to-play game. That's just a common thing with free-to-play games. You put some hacks on, and you play until you get caught. As soon as you get caught, you uh, create another Steam account, and you just load the game back up and play again. Uh, a lot of the hackers have hacks where they can unlock all the cosmetics, so if you're worried about losing cosmetics, because uh, you're going to get banned for hacking, there's a good chance that, you know, you put a hack on and you just have all the cosmetics over again, so I think this final starts up right away because we're not waiting for anyone else. There's only the two of us, so we're just going to keep this rolling. But yeah, it's an unfortunate thing with free-to-play games. It really, really sucks, and uh, we were really fortunate to go to two tournaments back-to-back -to -back with no hackers in our lobbies, so I was really happy. So again, this is a clear night, as you can see in the top right. Monaco, clear night. I don't need to put jump pads on or zip lines. Because it's a one-on-one, -on -one, though, I am going to rock gas grenades and not explosive. Sorry, gas mines and not explosive mines. Because uh, they're easier to defend sites. And the finals, when you get to the finals, it's the first team to 20,000. So basically, it's a score of the first one to do. And uh, they're really, really, really quick vaults. So you want to make sure you hold them down well enough and hold them down. Gas mines just makes that so much easier, especially with a turret. It's so, so good. So, yeah, basically right now it's been a 2v3 uh, for the most part. And like I said, you'll see in the second tournament, I don't do a lot in the second tournament in terms of KDA. My objective and uh, my support is really high. And uh, really that's all you want in the finals at the very least, have those two. If you're not going to be able to get, you know, 8, 10 kills every game, uh, at the very, very, very least, your support and your objective should be high. Then, then at least you're helping the team win the actual game itself. I should note that there is no bonus to open the vault in the finals. There's no penalty for getting wiped either. It's literally the 
whoever puts in the fins the first two cash outs wins. There's no penalties or no bonuses. First to 20,000, so. That team's stuck in a church. Again, they're shooting at my turret. Like I told you, it's, at the very least, it's good for a distraction. And for some odd reason, our, our heavy decided to go in there, so we're, they only have one player left, so I think we might as well chase them. That's a really good thing to do in the church, you guys. Uh, as you can see, I get stuck in a window here and I die to the gas. I was so frustrated. That's a really good thing to do, though, when that church spirals, though. Especially if you're getting chased, it works really good. If you had an explosive mine, you would have killed me immediately. Lay at the explosive mines, because you can't see as you're running up the corner. You'll run straight into two explosive mines and insta death. But, uh, he got a free one there. I, I got stuck in a window. Those little windows in a spiral, uh, stairs are really hard to get to. So right now, like I've said, we're going to try to start the first cash out. And uh, this particular setup I have is purely a defensive s setup. So I want to get everything set up perfectly, and you should always be trying to take your vaults to the absolute bottom floor. That's why I said this place was perfect, because I only had to bring it down one floor. So that's a common thing people do. Uh, here he goes, I said it, but at ankle, ankle height. I actually am confused now watching this. I thought I had explosive mines on, so that was my mistake. Those are gas mines. That would do nothing. It would inconvenience someone running through the, the door, but it wouldn't kill them. Uh, if that was explosive mines, it would be half their health as they're running through. One mine does half health. Two mines is of kill. What I should have been doing with those, cur those mines is laying them right next to the vault. So I'm watching this mistake as I'm watching it back. Yeah, this setup, as I was saying, is a purely defensive setup. Uh, it's not meant for pushing, and it's hard. Hard to use it to push a site. Um, our, our amazing... I swear, if he got points for every time he died, he would definitely have more of a score than me and Owen this tournament, for sure. That man nearly killed me. But yeah, it's, it's a purely a defensive setup. There we go, my turret got me the assist. And there's gas going off around it. They are wiped again, and that should be it. There was enough time that I don't think they'll have time to even come and uh, even come and contest this again. Like I said, the timers are, I don't know if they're any faster. I think they're accelerated. It's usually one wipe uh, is enough to get the vault. So right there, that little sliver is about 10 seconds. So I'm just going to drop my gas grenade on there, and you should always be heading towards the center of the map at this point, especially in the final two. So you're closest to the next vault. Because it's usually on the opposite side of uh, the cash out. Though it is random. So right now we have one guy sitting on top of the construction site. Our teammate died yet again. At this point, I'm telling uh, Owen just to leave him. And uh, here's where I make one critical mistake, which would have worked if I had explosive mines. Remember that I thought, think I have explosive mines with me. Right there, and right there, and uh, as they pushed through, they would have died right there. One of them would have died. But uh, instead, that happened. So that blorp would have been dead if those are explosive mines. Right here, I'm realizing, oh my god, these are these are gas mines I brought in. Stupid me. So they're cracking the next vault, which again, doesn't get to give any money at this point. It's just to start it so that um, someone can put it in the next cash out. Another little tip you guys might not know if you're final players. Uh, the score on the top left, it always shows who's, who put the last vault in. And uh, if the game is tied and the time runs out, whoever is on the top of that score wins the game. So if you're hoping for some kind of an overtime, uh, you're not going to get it. That does a lot of gas damage to the people at the bottom. I knew they were down there. That's why 
I did it. I'm telling you, careful. There's a there's a mine on the stairs. A gas mine. So our heavy's down there. And look at this. That's hilarious. I threw that behind me to cover me. A bunch of them are getting burnt from that toxic gas. I jumped into the window and the entire team was hiding in the hallway on the floor below. That's funny. Uh, my gas gave me an assist. At this point, if we get a team wipe, it's going to be pretty close to us winning the game at that point. I think the time accelerates when the team wipe happens if there's like 20 seconds left for the game. Uh, the team wipe will just... Do I get this guy? Oh, I do. The team wipe will just end the... will just end the vault. Because instead of wasting time, I die to the gas and I'll waste so much gas. It's to be expected in the finals, though in the finals you should be running gas. So they're back now. Uh, they don't have much time. They don't have much time to come and grab this. If any time, now they got about 20 seconds. So I'm getting everything ready. One gas mine on each side, like I said, is usually what I like to do. And then I sit off site with my gas mine. Lay that as well so you can shoot that for extra gas. Oh, my turret got somebody, and I get nuked here. But we got it, all that gas. There was no way they were going to get it, so. That is a tournament win, which feels good. That was my fifth in three days, so I'm really happy with that. That's the score. Like I said, the objectives and everything else, I couldn't believe. Um, it was like the guy was, wasn't trying or anything. I don't know. But with that being said, guys, let's get into the second game, which is right back to back. And uh, I'm thinking to myself, we couldn't get, let's pause it here. We couldn't get, uh, we couldn't get a worse teammate than that. Anyone, anything's better than that, I was thinking to myself. That's Blorp, the guy we just played against. That's a GG's dude. But let's get into that second game. So this is our second tournament immediately following our last. As you can see, the tournament dubs now has won. We have a teammate called Mbappe Movement, now a heavy. He absolutely fucking carries this game. Uh, we went from having a brutal dead weight heavy to an amazing carry heavy. I definitely take a back seat here. I think I only end up with five eliminations total for this entire tournament. Uh, this guy almost gets 40, if not over 40, I can't remember. But the objectives and the support is more so the role I played here. Owen and the Zimbabwe just go fucking crazy here. So I think this is, yeah, I don't think I switched a screen over here right away. Uh, I do switch it over here. After this pop in this vault, I do believe. So just enjoy these these anime final girls for now. But yeah, uh, communication is so 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 important in the finals. It's it's the key to winning for sure. Um, and Bobby just nukes somebody. He is amazing with his nukes. They're actually pushing the other site uh, while I go to cash out A. I'm a terrible Twitch streamer in that I rarely look at my Twitch stream as I'm playing. So I didn't catch that we were in intermission screen for so long. Um, I usually check when I'm dying to see if anyone's saying anything. And yeah, I'm terrible that way. People always come into my stream and it's like five minutes later. How do these big streamers with like 20, 30,000 people uh, have time to look over and see exactly what's happening? I'm just grateful that these screens are so big. Uh, but yeah, the, um, the Zimbabwe guy was, it was impressive. I actually was telling Owen, uh, I, 
was one questioning if the guy was hacking or not, because that is a ton of kills. That's a ton of kills he got. But we do know that he's using nukes quite a bit. I, I'm sorry, I, didn't, I realized I didn't tell you guys what nukes were. I was going to tell you. So nukes in the finals uh, is what he's doing right here. They throw C4 on canisters. And they throw them at people, and right before they ignite, they hit the C4, and you get double explosive damage. Whereas if you just throw the the canister at the person and it explodes on them, it's just it's just that explosion damage. It's not the C4 and that. So it's a skill. You have to time it to explode right on somebody. There you go. You got another person. That's his third. Uh, that's his third new kill. This game. So right now, they both get killed, and I'm telling them just use a coin and come back, because, you know, we got like 30 seconds left of this. Um, they're going to have to work to get up here, the enemy team, so token in for now. And they'll try to defend this if I went down there and I got them both. There's no way to get back up here for me. I don't have a jump pad or anything. They would have got it right there. He's trying to steal it, and I throw my gas grenade. And he almost dies, end up killing him, but... This guy's still trying to steal it. It's their heavy. And they're trying to steal it right now, but they don't have time. It takes five seconds to steal, and uh, unlike a Valorant, uh, the timer doesn't stop. Uh, and that vault, when you start to try to take it, I don't know if that's something they're going to change. It's like CSGO, where it just goes. It just goes and it stops. So right now we're getting caught up in Team Deathmatch. Which I kind of tell Owen, and um, we're fighting this orange team who's sitting in third for nothing right now. We absolutely don't need to take this fight. Like I said, it's very easy to get caught up in Team Deathmatch. In the, um, in the finals, it just is. Now we got team wiped. And uh, our 15,000 goes down to 10,000 now, so... Go ahead and look to the left, Grok, and see that you're still in intermission. Anytime now, Grok. Anytime now. There we go. <laughs> I had to change my transition screen, because like I said, this game is so hard on your PC. My glass-breaking one, which is so cool, uh, actually lags out when I try to um, use it. So there's one of the community jump pads, this massive one. They have them on certain maps, like this is the moving platforms. Every map has three or four different versions of it, you know, so it's never the same two maps twice. This one has moving platforms. Uh, it has high rise, where the middle island of buildings, I guess, gets, it's on a massive platform. Uh, and it has night and it has fog and it has sunny day and it has clear night so you never get the same thing twice on all these maps uh, it's really good that way so now we're fighting pink who is trying to solidify the next round by getting their second um, getting their second cash out oh I parked up the wrong tree here so I'm just trying to Use that to cover my ass. I think I just barely not get Owen. I get killed from up top. But, um, Mbave movement is not taking shit from anybody. He's gonna get inside his spear and kill the Warhammer. And then he's gonna falsely just revive me. I'm surprised the team on top didn't clue in that that's what he was doing. Uh, and push him. That's usually what you would do. Um, so here's what I'm talking about. I'm going to throw some explosive mines on him, and I'm putting my turret on him as well. Now that guy knows he sees me doing it. He's just going to have to use a coin. You always want your enemies to use their coins so they can't spawn back eventually. Um, now I'm going to know if somebody, uh, somebody were to revive him. They're wiped right now, but if somebody were to revive him, uh, my turret would go off number one, and or I would get a kill from them trying to rush past and grabbing him 
if that's how people die, they grab the the bag to pull them away from my turret, and they they die, and or they run up to the the bag and they try to defib and they die. Uh, it, it's one of those things where it'll only work if it's in a rush situation. So where I put it, it, it can it'll it'll defend our area and it'll shoot at the other platform as well. But uh, I'm kind of confused. Owen says they're here, but he's not telling me exactly where he is. So that's why I kind of panically threw uh, panically threw my gas bomb on top of it in case it was getting pushed. But we got that. Now we are the ones sitting on two cash. It's not exactly 35. It's only 27. So. I would like to crack some more vaults, at the very least crack them, get that extra thousand dollars in and just defend it. Uh, there's a minute and 20 seconds left with the dead go boom event, so you want to kind of avoid close quarters combat with this, which is why this people that run melee uh, setups, they get really, really fucked over with this. So now, this is what I'm talking about, we got a minute left, and we don't want this to go into overtime, so we don't want someone to put the vault in, and start an overtime. So we're going to defend this vault, and not let someone take it and put it in. That's why I'm kind of trapping it, so if someone were to run in here and try to grab it, they would probably hit one of the mines, at the very least. Fun fact, wherever you throw uh, the go. It shoots out from that direction. Whatever surface it's on, it'll shoot straight out. So, if you're throwing it at an angle that's facing towards you, it's going to shoot straight towards you. So now we're realizing that purple, who is our pink, who is third, needs this overtime. Otherwise, they're out, and they're trying to get to the moving platform A, cash out, to start to trigger an overtime with 10 seconds left. And we don't want that, and neither does orange. So we're both stopping it. And they can't get up there with the, the crate or the vault. So with that, we are getting qualified onto the next round. Pause it here and move on to the next round. So here we go, round two of the knockout rounds. And we're still in Skyway Stadium. Uh, there's no more moving platforms. This is purely a sunny, uh, sunny time of day for this event. Um, the second of two knockout rounds. So, like I said, in a situation like this, if there was a hacker on the other side of the tournament tree, we wouldn't know until the final four. But right now, I'm really, really, really impressed with our teammate Mbappe. Not only is he good, but he has a microphone as well. I think he was South American by his accent and the name. That's a that's a soccer player. He goes straight in. Like I said, I thought potentially he might have aimbot hacks on. People that don't understand how hacks work, um, they might go, well, no, he's dying enough. He doesn't have, you know, hacks on. Well, aimbotting doesn't stop you from dying. Um, you'll still get killed occasionally as you're getting shot from multiple angles. The only thing that makes us doubt that he definitely is a hacker is a lot of his kills are from his his nukes, which he he does every every chance he gets. So right here, right now, as you can see, I got three credits left. I can use a token. I decide to use one to give them a hand because they're in the middle of a fight. Um, right here is kind of annoying. Where I'm trying to tell. Owen in the sky, like, we're fighting this team, uh, for nothing, like, we're getting caught up in team deathmatch, is exactly what's happening. Right here, I'm convinced I'm getting chased with someone with a recon, so I'm trying to, this is what you should be doing if you're getting chased by somebody with a recon. Jumping in and out of windows, out of doors, uh, if you hear them behind you and you have an explosive grenade, throw it at a windowsill on your way out. Um, things of that nature. So right now, Owen sees that there's only one player from uh, the orange team that's actually here. This is what I'm talking about, this orange and this red. It looks almost the same. 
you don't know what it is. Is it orange or is it red? Um, they really got to do something with their colors in this game. So by now, this guy's teammates have uh, credited in, as Owen can see. And uh, we're having to take on the whole team. There's such a mass confusion here as they're trying to get me as well. My turret is fucking people up. I thought I was getting chased way through that at my feet at the doorway, which is what you should be doing uh, when getting pursued by an enemy in here. Take out these turrets when you get a chance. Um, because the cooldown on the turrets is so high. Uh, right now I'm like pretty screwed because I don't have the evips and yeah, they're all coming down at me and there's gas. But the cooldown on those turrets is so high. So try to take them out when you can, just kind of tank it. Uh, a turret in itself when you have full health won't kill you. Uh, it shouldn't unless you're not just not shooting it on purpose. You'll be able to destroy it before uh, it should kill you or do significant damage. And like I said, the cooldown on it's crazy. My second turret tip I will give you guys is if you lay a turret somewhere and uh, if you lay a turret somewhere and you decide uh, the cooldown's over and you decide, well, it's it's way over there, let's go grab it or let me just set one up because it's just sitting in the middle of nowhere, don't leave it where it's at until you have to set up a new one because it'll be used as information, you'll, you'll know if people are over there still. I should have laid that dirt before I shot them. I don't know why I didn't, actually. I thought for sure I would have. But yeah, it's information. Like I said, information is so huge in the finals. So they got this cash out. We don't have one yet. There's five minutes left. Half time is about to start, which means another event's going to start up. They're already inputting. And there you go, see? Now I'm going to know if somebody uh, goes for the revive, and I believe they do. Because there's still one bank player left here, but we're not going to hang around. We need to make some money or we're out. So I'm leaving right now. This is the things you should be considering when you're trying to play this game to win. Um, sticking around and trying to find this guy or just chase. There you go. I eliminated him. See, I eliminated him with a grenade. So that guy went to go revive his friend and he hit my grenade and died. So... Yeah, that's what you guys should be doing when it comes to uh, turrets and explosive mines. Especially when it's a situation like that, that red team's as desperate as we are. I guarantee that that, um, that was a panic to revive. Like, you wanted to revive them as quickly as possible. That guy should have told them. Unless they're not using comms, there is mines on him, though. Again, comms, comms, comms. That's your number one number one tip, so you should always be trying to queue up at somebody. I got an assist again. And this is just a crazy shit show right now. And Bobby's down, and so is Owen, so I'm trying to... That whole team is here, though. Our pink team is here as well, so pink and red are both there. Again, it's one of those situations where you don't know what colors would, and we're sitting last. We're dead last with 2.2. Okay, so... It's not looking good with three minutes left. It's not out of the bag yet because the next cash out is going to be worth 22000 Um, If there's a next cash out at this point. They haven't even started the second cash out yet. Oh, uh, there they go on C. The red team's starting it. Uh, right now we're saying we should go for D because we've been playing Team Deathmatch and fighting so much that the orange team here, this team here, has zero zeros across the board for kills, deaths, assists, because they've been uh, they've been free range of the game the whole game. No one's uh, tried them, so that was that was their first kill. Well, they've had two kills now. They killed two of us. I'm laughing, going, so we're gonna get wiped by this team now that you know was so cold. They had no uh, they had no kills going into this. No deaths, no assists, like they've just been playing their own game. So there's Mbappe with his nuke. He holds on to it because he knows they're coming still. And he kills both of them and he wipes the team. So yeah, this this guy with his nukes is just it's something else. I personally would have rest first because there's still time. And then went for it while I revived the other guy because we could he could have been getting pushed by 
either red or pink right now but it, it worked out in the end anyway so we're gonna get this cash out it's gonna move us comfortably into uh, first place guys save your defibs like I just did right there if you know there's no one around don't use your defibs I see so many teammates as I'm reviving somebody use defibs um, there's no need if, if you get a chance to revive somebody, it's full health when they're alive. I do some skeet shooting there. It's full health. Uh, full health when they get picked up. Low gravity's on right now. As opposed to half health with a defib. So yeah, let them full revive. So again, I'm doing my thing where I'm trying to... We're fighting pink, though. I'm trying to make sure no one picks up that orange player. Uh, low gravity, everything goes further. Grenades, uh, canisters, everything. If you, if you get stuck doing uh, hitting a jump pad on low gravity, it's pretty much a death sentence. You're going to get killed in the air. Um, I'm trying to think, because like, I only get five kills in this entire tournament. I don't know if, uh, maybe I don't get any in the last game, the last round, I'm not sure we're gonna have to see, cause I think I've gotten like four kills this game alone, so, like I said, this Mbappe and, uh, and Owen just absolutely shredded this lobby, which is qu quite impressive, because most, I think this Mbappe's platinum is what his, his rank is, which means we're playing against platinums and golds here. It's not an easy lobby. Yeah, guys, if you're gonna run mediums, for the love of God, please, 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 please. Um, run defibs. That, that, that revive wouldn't have been possible if I didn't have defibs. And I had to go with a wipe that team, and Bobby's already up to 12 kills. You see, he fully revived, he revived me without a defib, and I got full health. So yeah, like if you got uh, defibs, guys, and you have the opportunity to just do a regular full revive, just do it. Because yeah, I see so many kids. Uh, I threw it at the stairs because they're coming up the stairs. I see so many kids. Or my turret's shooting somebody. Uh, so many kids uh, try to use defibs all the time. The defib has a cooldown. You know, you might need it for something else. So always try to save it. If you can. Another little thing I haven't been touching on that you guys have been seeing me do. Uh, yeah, I must have got all my kills here. I think that's five kills right there. Um, you're seeing me. <laughs> that's me screaming in Bobby. <laughs> you see me reloading my gun with, you know, after using a couple rounds. It's because, especially that F car, uh, it's got such a small clip. Whereas in Valorant CSGO, you know, you hang on to your rounds as much as possible. I, I tend to reload because it's so quick as well, as much as possible in here to make sure I always have a full clip. So with that, guys, let's move on to the next round, the final four. So here we go, the final four, which is the high-rise version of Skyway Stadium. As you can see, that entire middle set of buildings gets put up on its own little island, pretty much. And, uh, I think initially when they did this, they wanted to make it so that you have to use jump pads or at the, at the very extreme, they want you to use zip lines, but there's so many ways to get up there. Don't worry about ever not being able to make it up there. They have uh, community massive jump pads you can use as well on all three corners of that, that massive island. Obviously the other side is death. It's a massive cliff. But again, just like last game, uh, we are now in a final four. We are going to know if we have hackers in the lobby or not. Thank God we didn't. Maybe Mbappe. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. There we go. See, it renders in the skins. I'm a big skins guy, especially because I stream and I make content like this. I want my stream and my character uh, to look as good as possible. So for me... Um, you know, getting those textures right is nice. Owen's just telling me there's a team on the other side here, so... Uh, they're all going up now, though, he says, so... There's no need to keep this down here. What do you 
he's doing with this that plant is he's he's putting his uh, C4 in there because C4 or throwing C4 itself uh, doesn't go very far. So if you put it on items, even in a plant or a chair or anything like that, you can throw that further than a C4. So what is he, what he's doing is he's throwing that plant with the C4 attached to it and using it as a, like an anchor, pretty much. So we can chuck that C4 forth, then you can actually throw it by itself. Because I think, I think it's too light otherwise. So there's one more player left in this team before we can wipe him, and I tell him he's on a second floor. As he just shot a rocket down my, my throat. Uh, there he is. And uh, no, one of them, one of them used a token. That's not a wipe anymore. So right here, I'm like, we gotta just get going. You see me continuously pick up my turret. Like I told you guys, it's a long cooldown for the turret. And here you go, here's the island for the, the sky rise. This whole middle section of buildings now is up on its own little plat, like a little island. I'm watching Owen's back as he's coming up to make sure he doesn't get shown from behind. And then I'm just gonna take this down, even though they can use the massive jump pad right next to it. Using a jump pad, uh, sometimes not in that one because it just gives you just enough room to grab the lip of the, the edge, but using a jump pad in general, uh, leaves you open to getting shot in the sky, so. And like I said, especially in low gravity, oh my god, you do not want to get caught up there. This is a good spot. Uh, I usually put them under the ceiling of the entranceways, just in case someone jumps down, so Mbappe's killing people again. As you can see, there's a body there of someone he just killed, which is a common theme here. Like, Mbappe is a platinum player, uh, but again, I'm almost a platinum player, and I'm not that that crazy so like I said it's at this point it's for me it's very it's a possibility that this guy was uh, using aimbots for those of you that are watching this that don't play video games you're just watching it for or sleep and maybe you're wondering you're going grok what on earth is aimbots uh, it's a it's a program uh, hackers use on video games and what it is basically is uh, your gun always like flicks onto the person and it stays on them it doesn't move so you don't have to actually aim you'll just put your gun in that direction and shoot and all your bullets will hit them that's what an aimbot is uh, honestly scores like he's been having in this in this uh, tournament um, is very very aimbody the fact that he's running a heavy and he's running the Lewis gun which has the most rounds in the game would be uh, an aimbotter's heaven because you wouldn't have to reload and uh, you know detractors would say well he's dying too though yes but aimbots doesn't prevent you from dying you know you could still be killing two people and then get shot in the back and I think a lot of the thing he's doing is he's using nukes as well see this is a good place this is where you guys should be putting explosive grenades someone jumps in there they're gonna die he's using um, nukes uh, as well. Almost like he's masking it with the nukes. I don't know. Again, I'm just speculating. You'll see a score at the very end. It's it's crazy. Um, I don't know for a fact he was like my fifth, I think it was my fifth ranked tournament win ever. Uh, there was a hacker on my team, a straight up hacker. I actually had players coming into my lobby to tell me he was hacking afterwards. And I looked at his score, he had like 68 kills, and uh, only 8 deaths. And I remember he was laughing at his score, and I was looking at it, shaking my head, going, what on earth? And then I had a bunch of players come in my lobby, and yeah, I blocked him, and I reported him as well. Because that's no fun for people, and uh, it makes gaming not fun if you have to cheat. So, this guy's not blatantly looking like a hacker, but his numbers are definitely suspect. But here we go, we got wiped um, by the red team. The socialites, it's so weird, I can, I, I know the, the team logos now. Oh my god, that kind of freaked me out. Uh, I thought my dog Archie was in this room. 
there's no one in this room with me right now. This spooky story's kind of got me creeped out. Um, I'm really hoping you guys are looking forward to those because I love, love doing spooky stories. I've got such a small audience for it, though. There's only about two or three hundred of my subscribers that uh, really enjoy it. And it takes a lot of work to do these green screen videos, guys. It's not easy. Uh, this one, just the story I was reading up on, uh, it's a story, it's, it's a Canadian story that I've been aware of since I was a little kid. And, uh, it scares the shit out of me. And that's actually what I'm going to be doing for my spooky stories. But yeah, I, I thought I heard my dog's nail scraping behind me and my dog's not here. So there you go, what I'm doing is I'm putting mines, and my mine actually got blown up and it gave, it, I got an assist for it. So someone must have been trying to climb up that platform. Uh, you put your mines at ankle height uh, at doorway entrances. It's the best way to do it. Right now I'm just desperately trying to keep my turret up uh, on the ceiling. And there you go, just destroy that turret. Guys, when you lay a turret down, as you've seen right there, you're wondering why it's not shooting at me. It takes five full seconds for the turret to activate. Gives players a chance like you just seen then. Uh, that's a good place to put it as well. People rushing up the stairs. Gives players a chance to destroy it like we just did. Because it is a very powerful defensive weapon. So, I'm thinking to myself, if we get this... Oh, I thought I'm going to die, so I throw my gas just in case to keep them off of it. We got to make a damage event. That's another event in here, guys. Uh, double damage, basically. Then there's the meteorite event. Uh, which is like Armageddon. I laid my turret down again because it was destroyed. As well, guys, if you see a turret sitting there fucked up, it's smoking, it's got low health. Uh, just grab it and put it back down again and it'll get full health again. Because again, the cooldown on it, look at that, the cooldown is just, it's like a snail. So, right now, we got 28,000, I'm like, we just not need to not get wiped and uh, we're guaranteed the finals here, both my teammates are dead. And the, the team behind me, which is ironically, pink or red, it's a team that's not even competing for the finals right now. They chase me down with recon. Now I'm getting chased, because they know they kill me, it's a wipe. See, I'm getting chased. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to cover my tracks, but they don't come this way. Um, but that's what you should be doing. Yeah, see, I ran back out towards them. It was a pink player. And there we go, we, had, we went from 30,000 down to 20, and now there's a real possibility that we could get bumped out. So, this is why you don't want to get wiped uh, at the end. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm zero, 0.5 and something. Like, I'm just an assist machine this game. Five assists. Uh, two revives. And uh, Owen's got ten kills. Ten kills and two deaths or something. So, yeah, he's really popping off this game. But again, revives. That's a support score. Objectives. And assists, man. And there we go, we are going to the finals back to back. Feeling good. I'm thinking this would be fucking crazy if we win this finals. But there we go, that's a score. My combat score was only 900, but I was an assist machine there, a support machine. Uh, and objectives, 1400 objective. All right, guys, let's, let's get to this final round. Again, it's gonna load up here right away, so we're just gonna stick with it and not cut anything out. Um, so far, guys, let me know down below what you think of the gameplay, what you think of the game in itself. Uh, if you like this kind of content, use it to go to sleep, which I actually do. I love ASMR Whispered gameplay videos. Um, ASMR 7 is one of my favorites, as well as my new favorite. I can't think of his name right now. He's living in Australia right now. He's an American. Uh, very, very, very nice voice. He uses a Blue Yeti as well. Um, just a very kind, kind, soft voice. Uh, he plays video games and whisper gameplays, and it's so nice to fall asleep to. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. And again, if you like it, don't be afraid to hit that like and that subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, these whisper gameplay videos are something I put out quite often because they're easy for me to make. Uh, I don't have to do a whole bunch of production for it, and uh, sound quality-wise.
guys, I think it's pretty great. Oh, I just got absolutely lasered there from this dude. My throat's shooting somebody, as you can see, so I'm trying to get through to revive him. Now I'm going to show you guys a really good tip you should be doing in the finals. So my teammate gets wiped. Uh, I'm trying to revive. But they're both dead. There's no money on a table. I don't have time to pick them up. I am just going to kill myself, and we're going to reset the timer. They both had a long time before they could use their tokens. We have full tokens, four tokens each. Um, that's the smart play. There's no money on a board yet. Uh, now we're all going to spawn as a team in 10 seconds. This is something you need to consider doing. Uh, even not in the finals, even if you're in the knockout rounds. Uh, early on when there's no money on a table, just kill yourself and reset. Reset as a team and start again. Because even then, like, 30% of, what, $500 is nothing. You won't have any money on a table. So what this team just did, which is smart as well, this is going to be another tip for you guys. Um, they waited until we spawned, and then they put the vault and the cash out. If you do that, uh, the team will spawn on the opposite side of where you're at. But if you put it out beforehand, the team will spawn right on a cash out. So it's a little tactic you should be doing. It buys you about... 30 seconds before the team gets on you. So right now we're telling our teammate that they are on a roof. And again, guys, the finals is the first team to 20,000, so the first person to score two vault cash outs. Basically a best to two, or best to three, sorry. That's what the finals is. So they're in a house. I think our friend nukes them. And Bobby nukes them, I believe. Um, yeah, there's two of them dead. Any white? No, they're wiped. They're gone. They're wiped. So we're gonna steal it and set up. Oh my God! Look at the amount of C4 in here. I'm telling these guys to get out so I can blow it. And look at how far away I was. Look how much damage it did. Oh my, I'm, oh my God! I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead. So again, because the team wipe almost speeds up the vault. I have to look that up. I'm almost sure that's what happens. It speeds it up because uh, there isn't enough time to do it. So right now I'm just more concentrated on uh, my keeping them off of that. So I'm going to throw my gas on it as well. Because they are pushing hard. As you can see they go in there they go straight for it. And now I know that they can't... Um, now I know that they can't take it. So there's an assist. Yeah guys I think all of my kills came in those first two rounds. I did didn't get a kill last round, all assists and objectives, and this one I think is more so the same. Because it's only a 1v1 team. Uh, you're asking yourself, what is support score, Grok? Support scores are uh, assists and revives. So... Yeah, oh, that's what happened. The guy was confused. I was like, they're wiped. How did he die? Uh, he threw a grenade as he was chasing him, and he got killed, but his grenade killed my teammate. Smart move. Smart team. This, this, uh, this team we're playing against this. So, again, because there's no money at the table, they're going to spawn on the opposite side of us. So right now, they're spawning over by the construction site. Uh, we don't know that yet, because we can't see them. They're so far away with the recon, but that's exactly where they are. Uh, the finals... Is usually very quick. It's like 10 minute matches for the most part, unless it drags on with team deathmatch fights. But for the most part, they're usually over pretty quickly. And they are, they're trying to go push on the offensive here. I have a purely defensive setup right now. My defense, or my setup, is purely for uh, defending a cash out right now. So I'm relying on these guys to continue doing what they're doing and, and slay these enemies so I get a chance to use my shit when we do a cash out. So yeah, guys, I am going back to work for the next uh, five nights, starting tomorrow night. Um, and then I'm off for another five days. And oh my goodness, I just can't get away from these guys. They're all over the roof. It's so frustrating when you don't run. Uh, see, I threw a gas that would have done nothing. That's a waste of gas mines. I shouldn't have been doing that. I thought they were explosive mines. I'm just, I'm kind of in a panic state running for my life right now. Um, and then I'm on 
five days off, then I go back for four day shifts, and then I'm off for a week. I'm going to Winnipeg to uh, go to a Pantera concert, which I'm really excited about. But yeah, I intend on putting more content out for you guys here in the coming days. Yeah, I was getting run down by um, a dude with a heavy recon. So now we're wiped, and as you can see, we're still at 10,000 because there is no penalties for being wiped uh, in the final round. So now they're going to take that cash out, and they should wait for us to respawn before they put it in. I can't remember if they do. If they don't, you guys will see what I'm talking about. Uh, we respawn in five seconds. I think they wait. Yeah, they waited, and there we go. Now they put it in. So now we're on the opposite side. Had they put it in uh, before we respawned, we would have spawned right next to it. So that's a tactic you guys should be doing. Keeping that in mind, it's, it's a pretty good tactic. And now it cuts down time on uh, how much they gotta wait to cash it out. Basically, if they wipe us, if they were to wipe us right now, someone's operating the crane. Basically, if they were to wipe us right now, uh, they would get this cash out, I would think. By the time we spawn back in 20 seconds in, it would be like 20 seconds before it was done. And uh, I don't think we'd have time. So right now I'm just trying to keep this guy under covering fire so they can push that site from where they're, they're pushing from the jump pad. I'm just trying to keep this guy distracted before I join them. And it's working. That's a heavy out there, I could tell, because he's got his shield on. I'm basically helping them break that shield so they can shoot at him, and now I'm going to go in. I actually don't mind uh, this construction site for objectives. It's it's fairly easy to defend. Ooh, so close to killing that guy. They got gas all over the uh, the objective. Owens asked me if that was my gas. In my frantic, frantic state, I told him it was, but I, what I meant to say was I just threw my mine down as I was getting chased. It's not actually on site. That's their gas. So he's going to try to get it. There's only like 15 seconds left of this objective, and he gets killed by the heavy. Owen starts to go for it, so I'm trying to keep this guy back as long as possible, keep him from trying to stop Owen. And Owen gets it, and there we go. That's two wins back to back tonight. And uh, we are halfway to platinum now. I'm so happy. Well, guys, that's gonna be it for this uh, video. Yeah, he's a he's a platinum player. Our teammate Mbappe, crazy 41 kills, 22 deaths, 25 kills, 16 deaths. Owen, I got five kills and 12 deaths. 15 objectives. They both got 12. I, what were my revives there? I didn't see there were double digit revives. Like, I was straight support this game. But, like I said, objective support, game sense, man. That's all you can ask for from a teammate. If all my teammates were like that, we would always win. Uh, so good. So good. But, yeah, guys, uh, that's going to be it for this video. So, with that being said, guys, have a great day, great night, whatever it may be. And I will see everybody uh, next week with the spooky stories have a good night guys there's those two dubs now <laughs>